What's up guys? It is a beautiful Friday morning. I have to show you something. I usually talk a little bit, but if you can see it, there's a deer standing right there. I'm walking close to it. It's right there. What are you doing, baby? It's getting ready to move, guys. This is awesome. Check this out. What are you doing? Huh, girl? Boy, you look meaty and delicious. No, you're fine. Oh, look at her go, guys. Oh, beautiful. That's a beautiful part of lawn care. Oh man, seeing a beautiful deer first thing in the morning. <sighs> Reminds me of dinner time. Reminds me of dinner time. Well, we're going to get cutting on the gauntlet. I just got one done. We're going to do this one, this one, the one next to it, and this one. And it's just going to be an all out footage non stop. I've got 13 yards to cut today. They're all big. Justin's got eight yards of mulch down the street where we edged yesterday and I'm going to get a little footage of that but he's here to help me knock these out real quick in the next two hours. We've got what's his Jackson's down there pulling weeds so let's go to work. <laughs> Call me the Cross Creek Crippler, baby. All right, guys. Whew, I just got done with the gauntlet. This is the last yard that I did. Justin helped me with the other uh, four. Well, the first four I did the. I did the first one myself, the next four was with Justin. I did the last one by myself and this was it. So seven total, it's right around noon. I gotta show you what happened. The reason I didn't get more footage. And if you have any ideas where I can get these, I think Best Buy is probably gonna be my best bet. But the tripod completely shattered hey fell apart it's been used a lot it's been beat up abused so got to go get a new tripod tonight i'm going to try to get footage for you today but it's going to be rough um i'll do what i can okay guys we're going to do this one it's a big one this is a monster. And since I have no tripod, I'm going to try to take you along with me for some point of view mowing. Let's try this.
All right, guys. Ooh, got this one done. Let me show you a little bit of it here. Now, this is a big yard. You've seen this one before. Goes around that, and the whole back goes up through there. Comes around over there. <clears throat> this is a monster yard. Some nice stripes there. So I've been thinking, I've noticed there is this big, uh, this big thing going around YouTube about cutting overgrown yards, overgrown properties. And I've cut a couple overgrowns this year myself and done some videos of it. Hold on guys, there's a car coming. Anyway, what gets me is how people will get on someone's page who cut an overgrown yard and say how dare you charge this guy or that lady this or that amount have you went to a lawnmower professional lawnmower store lately eleven thousand dollars for a lawnmower now i personally pay 160 dollars a month for two million dollars worth of insurance 160 times 12, you do the math. It's expensive. Then, what, three, four hundred bucks for a trimmer? Blowers, six hundred dollars. Your trailer's about 17 to 2,000. Now, if you've got a double axle or a tandem, as they call them, you're looking 3,000 bucks. I, I think. I'm not sure. I've only got a single axle. In other words, it's friggin' expensive to run a business. There is no way in hell am I putting my equipment, new, used, I don't care, on an overgrown yard that was tagged by the city for less, for less than $200. No way. And it may go as high as $400 if the yard's that bad. So before you go hating on people out here that charge this or that for a yard, learn a little bit about the business. Since you've got time to sit on granny's couch and point the finger of what this person did wrong or that person did wrong, hell, I don't care. You can point out all day, you didn't trim it this way, you didn't edge it that way. I don't care. You're not paying my bills. My customers are happy. So who cares? But come on, guys. And most of you are with me on this. 99% of you are with me on this. Guys are trying as hard as they can, but screw working for free, man. What kind of snowflake crap is that? Nobody is going to work for free, and nobody should. <laughs> uh, some of you people, whew, it just went right past you, I think at birth, but I'm not sure. I think you became adults, started watching a little too much CNN, and it just went right over your head. Anyway, let's go to the next yard. I'll get as much footage as I can, and yeah, I don't know how much I'll get, but We'll see what we can get. I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay guys, I still have to trim this and blow it off, but I want to show you the stripes 
this is a beautiful yard. I got a little crooked right here, but there's some bumps in the yard. Beautiful place. Backyard's all done. You just saw that. Um, this gentleman really takes care of his yard. I love that. We're getting ready to mulch this one. We're not edging this year, just mulch. Takes about four and a half yards. But, uh, man, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. <laughs> Fighting through that adversity of my <sighs> tripod breaking. Got to go out and get one tonight. But anyway, I appreciate everybody watching. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell. Every time I throw one of these babies out there, which is almost every day, you're going to get notified. And then you can be one of my patients because I am Dr. Real. And Dr. Real was in the house. I'm out of here. I'll see you tomorrow for sure. Peace. Later.